Hello, Cabeza de Chorlito. Today, a little bird told me about the steamer ducks. In this map, we see all four species. They are all endemic to Patagonia. Three allopatric flightless species, which feed almost exclusively in the sea, and a flying species, which occurs sympatrically with all three flightless species, and frequents fresh as well as saltwater habitats. All four scientific names begin with the word takeris, from Greek, the fast rower. Takis means fast, ereso, rower. It makes reference to the movements that they make using wings and feet to run away. Sailors gave them the nickname of steamer ducks. The Falkland steamer duck diverged from their continental relatives 2.2 million years ago, coincident with a probable land bridge connecting the Malvinas Island to the mainland. The three continental species share a common ancestor that dates back to approximately 50,000 years ago, possibly owing to isolation during a recent glacier advance. Their diet is mostly uh, crab, invertebrates, some fish. They can dive up to 45 seconds. Many annotated confrontations are mostly used in displays. On the other hand, steamer ducks are known for their interspecific territoriality that can often result in death. The fights include greaves, coots, and other ducks. The killing might serve as a display of fighting skills in males and therefore maintained by sexual selection. Unlike other species of anatids, steamer ducks attack other ducks with fatal results. Seven other taxonomic groups have been attacked. In captivity, there are records of killing rats and catfish. Most of the aggression shown by steamer ducks is territorial, and both sexes seem to participate equally. How serious are the fights? There have been some studies where they found some mended cranial fractures. And the locals don't eat them, so that means that the injuries came from either fighting or accidents. A very common injury is a fracture on the carpometacarpus, which supports the wind knob used for fighting. The Kiris are in general very protective parents and they will not hesitate to go after even larger predators like albatrosses, petrels, gulls. They pretty much go after anybody fool enough to get too close to their territory. It's like they have their own fight club. Hey, remember the first rule about fight club. You do not talk about fight club. Gracias por ver este capítulo de Cabeza de Chorlito. No olviden dejarnos comentarios. Y recuerda nuestro lema. Observar para aprender, aprender para compartir, compartir para cuidar.